Well, we are celebrating Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month here at NBC Bay Area. And as part of that celebration, we're shining a light on some of the Asian American businesses that make our area unique. NBC Bay Area's Joe Rosado Jr. visits a shop in San Jose's Japantown where the past is now the present. You better believe it. I think of the past and think how far we came. It shocks me. A rookie that has the voices of time. What's the percentage I'm going to Channeled by tube and speaker. Ring Clear and Kogura Company in San Jose's Japantown. It's amazing. Amazing as the building today looks like it did when it opened on Jackson Street in 1934. Back when founder Kohei Kogura sold radios and appliances to the Japanese community. Oh, yeah. Toshiko Kogura married into the Kogoro family. I met the son. <laughs> now 96, she's been behind the counter since the 60s. We had a lot of farmers and gardeners in the olden days. COVID-19 pounds. If there's any change, it's that Japanese treasures have replaced the radios and appliances. Right now, it's a little bit of everything. It's the oldest store in any U.S. Japan town, still in its original location. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. And that makes it a survivor's tale. The Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor. Given the Koguras were among Japanese families rounded up and sent to internment camps during World War II. You make the best of things. The relocation centers are supervised by the war relocation. Thanks to a San Jose lawyer who protected the family's property, the store was there when they returned from the camps. And that's why after internment, there was some place to come back to. And there's a place in Japan that just makes these. Richard Kogura and his sister Carolyn are the third generation to run Kogura Company. There's tea sets, sake sets, figurines. But they're facing their own trial as the pandemic shut the store for several months. The only thing to keep mom from coming to work. Ever since then, I've been home like a jail. <laughs> and yet, as they reopened, another challenge. Going through a, a unique time right now with all the hate, people getting assaulted. Within the attacks on the Asian community, Richard sees parallels to the anti-Japanese sentiments of his parents' day. This must be nothing compared to what our first generation went through. And yet, though the stations change with time, and in part, the voices seem to broadcast the same theme they have for 87 years. Going through the hard times makes you a better person. Joe Rosado, Jr., NBC Bay Area News.